Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are finally reviewing the Mascot Lemtosh sunglasses. But first off, we have to thank today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Now there's actually a ton of fake copies of these sunglasses out there, so I figured I'd do a quick unboxing of these frames. Now, if you do want to skip the unboxing, I'm going to leave a time stamp in the top right corner. You can just easily follow that timestamp to skip over this unboxing. So you can see here they have some really nice kind of retro packaging and then this little rope here which holds the lid closed which is just, you know kind of classy. Uh, touch popping up the top you can see this really cool picture of uh, Grandma Sylvia, uh, which is pretty cool. Those are definitely really fun uh, shades that she's wearing uh, when she came back from the cruise. And then we can see the nice leather case that these sunglasses ship with. And then actually a little ruler here, which I believe is to help you get the correct size and measure yourself if you order the wrong size. You can kind of look at yourself in the mirror and then use that ruler to get your correct size, uh, which is pretty cool as well. Now here we can see a really nice leather case with their little logo there on the button. And then popping on top, we can see these absolutely beautiful uh, mascot Lemtosh sunglasses. They just look really, really nice and classy. Absolutely beautiful pair of acetate sunglasses with all glass lenses. And then the next thing we have here is this really large microfiber clean cloth, which is used to clean the lenses. And once again, we have the same photo of Grandma Sylvia coming home from her cruise. And I believe that says 1949, which again is pretty cool. And then the last thing we have here is the warranty card. And I'm covering up the number with my thumb. Each warranty card here has its own unique number, which gives you peace of mind that you bought an authentic pair. All right, so let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 46 millimeter lenses and a 24 millimeter bridge, and this is the average size of the sunglasses. Moscow actually produces four different sizes of these sunglasses. They produce a 44 millimeter or narrow size, the 46 millimeter average size that I'm wearing right now, a 49 millimeter wide size, and then also a 52 millimeter extra wide size of the sunglasses. So no matter how large or small your face size is, Moscot definitely has you covered here with the Lemtosh. These Moscot Lemtosh are handcrafted using absolutely beautiful Italian acetate. The particular colorway that I have in today's video are their tobacco colorway, which looks absolutely gorgeous, especially when you wear these out in the sunlight. And I really love the contrast here of how the middle of the frames are lighter than the outside. It just adds a really, really, really cool and unique uh, look to them. And the acetate here is just absolutely beautiful. They do a really, really good job of the polish of the frames as well. They are just very shiny and gorgeous and that acetate really pops again when wearing these frames outdoors. These frames also feature these really cool looking diamond rivets and they're not just there for show. They're there because that's actually what the hinges are connected to. And they actually do a really, really good job with these diamond rivets and it's actually very hard to do. They actually basically make it flush you can barely feel uh, the diamond rivet sticking out through the acetate. It just adds a really, really great look. And again, practicality because it's what holds the hinge to the acetate. So really nice and yet practical at the same time. Now, if we take a look at the outside temple of the frames, we can see a metal rod that runs all the way down to the ear rest and some absolutely beautiful etching on that metal stem or metal rod. And what's really great about the metal rod is it adds rigidity to these frames and also allows you to heat up these sunglasses and give a custom fit to the face. So if they're a little bit loose, you can of course uh, heat up the frames and then pull them in a little bit or if the frames are a little bit too tight again you can heat up them and then kind of bend them out to kind of give a custom fit to the face so that is really nice to see as well these frames have extremely nice and premium seven barrel all metal hinges and they feel very very nice when open up and when close them they just feel very very substantial and nice and premium which i really really do like these are some of the best hinges in the business and they're just very nice and premium like i said these frames also feature a keyhole style bridge which really adds to the styling of the frames and also comfort as well. Now the particular pair that I'm wearing right now feature acetate nose rests which are extremely comfortable in my opinion. I really do like them and they fit on the face very very well. But Moscow also does produce these with fully adjustable metal nose rests uh, with you know little silicon nose pads. You can actually completely adjust those to your liking if you want to get a pair with those. However I personally always find uh, the acetate nose pads to fit me best and they feel more comfortable in wearing them for a long period of time in my opinion. Now if we take a look at the inner right temple of the frames we can see they say mascot originals nyc because that's where the company was founded and still is today and then if we move all the way down to the inner right rest, we can see it's 
was established in 1915. So Moscow has been doing this for over 107 years, which is absolutely incredible and really nice. Now taking a look at the inner left temple frames, we can see they say Lemtosh uh, 4624, which of course stands for uh, the size of these frames. It also says Kohler uh, Tobacco, because of course these are the tobacco colorway. And then if we go down to the inner left ERS, we can see there is their little logo with the card there, uh, which is found on every pair of authentic Moscow Lemtosh sunglasses. Now these sunglasses have all glass lenses and the optical clarity of these is very, very good. And of course, all glass lenses are gonna offer better scratch resistance than something with a polymer lens. So it's gonna make these frames last a lot longer than something with cheaper polymer lenses. And of course, these lenses block 100% of UVA and UVB rays, which is extremely important for your eye health. Now, as far as pricing goes, these sunglasses are going to run you $320 directly from Moscot's website and in most stores. And I'm going to leave a link in the description down below directly to their website if you are interested in checking out a pair for yourself. Now, probably the only downside here is the fact that it do cost $320, which is relatively steep, and these frames are actually made in China. But that's definitely not the end of the world because the build quality of these frames is just absolutely fantastic. Everything about them is really good. The hinges, uh, the polish, everything here is really, really good. And they definitely have extremely high attention to detail on the Moscow Lemtosh. So the fact that they're made in China definitely isn't the end of the world. Moscow's headquarters is in New York City and the labor rates in New York City is extremely high. So if they made these in America, in New York City, uh, it'd probably cost you about five or $600 to actually produce these sunglasses, uh, which is definitely unfortunate. So that's probably why they're made in China. But again, I can't say anything bad about the build quality. They're just a very, very uh, high quality pair of sunglasses. And of course, Moscow is an American owned company, uh, which is really cool as well. And of course, Moscow has tons of physical stores in New York City and they are supporting American jobs and everything like that, which is, you know, really great. But yeah, at the end of the day, these are made in China. So, you know, that is what it is. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about these sunglasses in the comment section down below. I am very interested to know. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.